or you cannot save someone that is um, determined to be self-destruct. Someone that is determined to destroy themselves. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So in this video, I want to quickly share this with you guys. How, how uh, or what um, Tony Abraham said about uh, Mecca Ike. You know, she's the one basically from what the reports are is that she's the one that brought him back to Nigeria. He was living in Germany. She invited him to come and feature in her movie and uh, to basically bring him back into the movie industry. So let me read this, right? And this is important. She said, I've been talking to Uncle Emeka since last year. I know he has been off for a long time. Everything we heard. Then, obviously, I was not as big as this. So I sent him a message. My manager, Otumba Shion, uh, got his number for me. And I said, come back. And he said, what if everything that happened? I said, don't worry. Even if you did it, you have suffered enough. Even if you did it. You have suffered enough, right? So she's not taking sides. She, she's like, whether you did it or you didn't do it, or, okay, you have suffered enough, right? And she said, 13 years, it's okay. It's fine. I don't mind taking risks. Uh, it doesn't matter because I see you in this role because I feel everybody deserves a second chance. It's okay. Now, I want to speak. Her heart is pure. From reading this, her heart is pure. She has good intentions, whatever, and all of that. But I want to say something, you know, when she said you have suffered enough, right? I don't know. It's like me, I said, I don't, I didn't know their story. I didn't know their story until he came back with this drama and he, the story went viral. So whatever his suffering is, I don't know. But let's even say whatever the suffering were, that he has suffered enough. Okay. Now, my thing, the thing is this, as pure as um, Tony Abraham's uh, intentions are, the truth is this, you cannot save someone that is um, determined to be self-destruct. Someone that is determined to destroy themselves. Because I was, I've said it before and I'll say it again. For this man to come back to Nigeria and then come back and try to go back into the movie industry. And the first thing he did to basically announce his presence, as far as we can see, is to do that interview where he took people back to whatever marriage problems they had. Not only that, dragging his ex-wife, sharing stories that contradicts what he has said before. That is self-destruction. Although some people are saying he's to chase clout because it's like he came back, nobody knows him yet. But what clout is he chasing again when he has already acted a movie with Tony Abraham? Abraham, I say, I keep saying Ibrahim, sorry. Abraham, Abraham, sorry, guys. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's Abraham. Sorry, sorry. I don't like saying people's name wrong. It's, it's very rude to do that. So in Abraham has already given him an opportunity to come back into the movie industry. He didn't need that drama. Why bring that drama online? Why bring out a story and start basically making it all about his ex-wife and doing a saga? Bringing back your name into the Nollywood, whatever, or the movie industry, you can bring back your name in a nice way. But not bring up, I'm sorry, from what we saw, he brought back his name with negativity. He brought back his name with, let me tell you guys, there are no excuses. People have attacked me on the video I made in which I was saying that the things he said to his son, they were bad. They were evil. I have seen comments of people saying, "Eh, hey, someone you don't know if it's you and your side, are, and it's, if it's you, you may say this." And uh, even if it's me, and I said those, and I got angry, and I said the things he said to his son, it is still bad. It doesn't become unbad, if that makes sense. Okay, good. It doesn't become good if because I did it. Wrong is wrong. Even if I got angry and I lost it and I said something like that, it is still bad. It does not become good because I said it. So let's stick with the truth. The way he spoke, and that is why it is believable. The things that the ex-wife has said he has done. The punch and the domestic violence. It makes it believable because the way he's speaking, speaking as if it will say he's seen knife. If I use the knife on, on that boy. The way he spoke in that audio. Mm -mm. 
I know, like I said in one of my videos, they say, uh, uh, what is it? No publicity. They say something like, even bad publicity is good publicity or whatever. Basically saying that publicity does not matter. Even if it's negative or positive, as long as you get the clout, you know, it is still publicity. So if that was what he thought, or that was, you see, I'm saying if, that was what he thought that made him to go do that. I'm sorry, he is old enough to know better. To see him and with all those gray hair, with all the gray hair, he thinks he will come on social media and say some of the things. And like I, I made one of another video which I said that if you look at his interview as far back, far back as 2014, 14, when the school was taken, it was through the courts. The landlord took the school because they said they were owing rent. They were owing the landlord rent. But now in 2023, he came out to say that the ex-wife, sorry, that shut the school down. Just like that. So, going back to what I'm saying, um, Tony and Abraham's intentions are amazing. What I mean by that, she decided not to be a judge and say, okay, come, let's put you back into the movie industry. You deserve another chance in the music industry. Come and try your hands again. Try your luck, as some people would say, in the movie industry. From what she said, she said it's enough. Basically, she's saying, let bygone be bygone. That was what that thing she said means. Let bygone be bygone. If a maker knows what bygone means, or if he's interested in letting bygones be bygone, he for no go bring up his ex-wife's name in this interview and drag her and all of that. He, shouldn't, wouldn't have, he wouldn't have done that because that is not a sign of someone that has moved on. And I said, if this man is in a new relationship, it does not look good because it's as if, did you, are you sure you really moved on? You're in a new relationship. In your new relationship, not a sweet. So if it is sweet, you're supposed to be so consumed with the sweetness that the ex will be something that you will not even come here to be dragging. If you say that she can't drag her now, it's okay. He came out to respond because she dragged him. But he is the one that started the dragging. So going back to what Toyin Ibrahim said, Ibrahim, oh, I'm so sorry. What Toyin Abraham said, it's enough. It, what, how did she even end it? Let me see it again now. Okay. Because she said, because I feel everybody deserves a second chance. It's okay. It's okay. Basically, oh, Tito, that's your bad. Ibo, we say, oh, Zugo, it's enough. It's okay. Basically, you're supposed to close that chapter and start this new one for the second chance. Abi. You see, everybody deserves a second chance. So, somebody, I, where did I see that? Was it an interview or something? Somebody said, do you know that? Before the culture of canceling started, that a maker is actually the first Nigerian person to be canceled. So, if somebody was canceled and he now got a chance to come and bring his name back up, or and is that not supposed to be the so-called, it's enough, let bygone be bygone, start a new chapter. But what did he do? With the opportunity given to him is to say, it's your boo -boo. I am going back to the old saga. Is that a sign of someone that actually wants to move forward? That is not it. That is not it. So unfortunately, me, I don't know how it's going to affect him going forward. I don't know. But what I'm saying is that as beautiful and as pure as the intentions of uh, uh, Tony Ibra, uh, Abraham is, unfortunately, first of all, you're sorry for it's like he's not even willing to be sorry for himself. <laughs> even willing to sorry for himself. The person that you're trying to help is not ready to help himself. The person, you, like I said, you cannot save someone that is determined to self-destruct. Even his landlord, as at that time, in the newspaper interview, said that something like a maker, he said he feels sorry for a maker, but a maker does not even feel sorry for himself. Not be waiting, you see now. He's repeating again. He's repeating again. So I, I saw that and I was like, oh, she's a lovely lady trying to give somebody a second chance. And this person she's giving second chance doesn't even know the meaning of second chance. What I, what, you know, whatever has happened, if this is someone that knows the meaning of second chance, he wouldn't have even talked about his past. You just come here, do his interview about Malaika and, you know, talk about his future and not to go and bring back old saga. Hopefully what he has done with that interview, hopefully, and some of the things he has said and what he has done, hopefully um, it does not counter 
the the good uh, plans that uh, Tony Abraham, you know, Tony Abraham has for him. I saw that and I wanted to share with you guys as as well. I don't know what your opinions are. Do you guys agree with me that uh, you know, Emeka Ek with that interview was basically sabotaging sabotaging himself, and that that is not a good way for him to try to come back into the movie industry. Do you agree with me that uh, that is self destructive? You know, to to do some of the things or say some of the things they said. I don't know what your opinions are. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.